Looks pretty good. See right there? Too close to the... <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm driving. This is a really tight spot. You can see, so it's kind of waiting for them. Moving over. So really tight space up here again. Oh boy. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. We're still on version 8.1. I think it's been over 20 days since the last update. This is the longest we've gone without an update. And why is that happening? Nobody knows. <laughs> There's lots of guesses. Uh, if I was driving, I would have stopped for that person. There's lots of guesses as to why that's happening. Uh, I, the most, I don't know, the one I like the most is that Tesla's waiting for some of the snow to clear. So in Michigan, around my area, we got around nine inches of snow, a little more, a little less in some areas. And Tesla may be waiting uh, for the snow to clear because a lot of the US has gotten a lot of snow lately. And to be totally honest, the beta does not work. It's just not ready for snow. Um, now, the autopilot team is working on snow, which is great. It is going to be have to be able to handle that eventually. But as of today, uh, it can't really do that. So right now we're heading over to Zingerman's in downtown Ann Arbor. And we're going to do a little downtown driving. I don't think I've done any downtown driving on this version yet. And it's the hardest for the car to do, but it's stuff that the car has to handle. And I like when it makes mistakes because that means I'm finding stuff it's not able to do. And that data is being sent back to the autopilot team and they're improving it over time. So hopefully we'll have a new update soon, but really no word on when that will happen. So I started in the middle of campus here uh, for a little bit of difficult stuff. And, oh, let's, let's, okay. So the, the bus to the left and I got there about the same time and the car was going to go, which uh, in my opinion was fine, but the bus was a little more aggressive. So the car waited, which was fine. Great move. Um, so let's head into downtown. If you're enjoying these videos, I would really appreciate if you hit like and get subscribed, help out the YouTube algorithm. That would be great. If not, that's okay too. <laughs> so sit back and enjoy and let's see how the car handles the drive today. So we are clear. It's good to go. The car should continue. Now there's somebody coming and nope, the car's going to way too slowly. So I did tap the accelerator there um, to make it keep going because it was out in the intersection. Uh, it could should have been able to clearly see there. I'm not sure. Um, but at the end of the video, we'll have a chart with how many disengagements, interventions and reports I have and compare that to previous drives. taking this right turn uh, while the car is as of the filming of this video definitely not ready for snow I've still been using it in the snow to get that data back to the autopilot team and I've actually been decently impressed there are of course some times where uh, if the road is partially covered the car does not handle it very well and it's a little disappointing but at times when the road is completely covered it seems that the car actually does an okay job of guessing where the lane is and staying there. The biggest problems though are that it doesn't modulate driving behavior for the snow. So it doesn't brake any earlier. It doesn't accelerate slower on slippery conditions. Uh, those are things that need to be added. But I've been using it a lot and I would say besides that, my biggest complaint is it just still takes uh, right and to a lesser extent left turns. It cuts them a little too close. And so when you have these conditions where it snowed a ton and they, they just plowed uh, yesterday, you'll have these huge mounds of snow on the side of the road, especially at the turns, and the car almost wants to drive right into those. So that can be kind of annoying. Uh, doesn't cause too much of a problem though. So taking this left here, really, really nice. Unprotected left, the car could see there were no other cars and just went right through it, which was great. It's been a little hesitant with those earlier, uh, but the latest builds have been better in terms of turning. So I'm just gonna slow down a little bit here. It makes me a little more comfortable. I think this is a more appropriate speed for the conditions. <laughs> These people are still stuck <laughs> with their cars in the snow, um, but the car's handling this okay. Uh, even though there's a bunch of snow in the way, it is staying away from that and staying on the paved road. So we have a stop sign here and there's a car coming from the left. That was a little scary for me, but it did stop for them. And now we're stopped again, waiting for this person to turn left. And the car is gonna go. We do have somebody coming from the left, but we did have time. So that was pretty good. I had my foot on the accelerator ready uh, to push it a little bit more, but it ended up doing okay. Okay, so this is real tight spot with lots of snow. I'm gonna slow down again. And it looks like, oh, we actually have to turn left here. 
and we are doing just that. We got somebody walking to our left here. Wow, this is weird. I've never done this personally. And boom, right for that snow bank. <laughs> so I had to take over there and uh, <laughs> prevent that because it was going to go right for that snow bank. So looks like this is our destination. Oh, it won't actually even let me engage the system. All of the cameras and everything are clean. I made sure everything was wiped off beforehand. These people are displayed, they're dark green, which means the car is waiting for them. And still can't turn autopilot on. So let me get, we're at Zingerman's now. So this is pretty much taking us to our destination here. So let me get in a new destination and continue. So we can head over to Slurping Turtle, not too far away. Uh, but these tight turns are going to have to continue. So stopping for the stop sign, we need to creep out and make sure there's nobody coming. Looks pretty good. See right there? Too close to the... <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm driving. Too close to that mound, and then we slid, and the system kind of gave up once we had that slide. And now it's struggling. There we go. So this is a really tight spot. You can see, so it's kind of waiting for them. Moving over. They're doing their best as well. So wow, very tight space but the car did handle it for both of those. Really impressive. <laughs> As difficult even for, you know, people to navigate when the spaces are that tight. So you can see here, even before we get there, the car is planning to move to the left a little bit to avoid this parked car. And it does a really nice job with that. Another really tight street. Snow is kind of making this worse. And again, I'm gonna slow down a bit. So hopefully the car will eventually be able to know, you know what, this is a little too fast. Um, but for now, I'm, I'm reducing the speed, although the car, again, it, it doesn't really take snow into account yet, but the car will slow itself down uh, at times where it thinks it needs to be a bit slower. So going around that person, who I'm not sure if they're parking or what they're doing, but that was a really good move. And then right turn here, and hopefully, again, it won't cut it too close uh, with the snow in the way. I think it's clear after that, but I, you know, there are a bunch of parked cars over to the left, so I really can't see myself. Um, I think well, I'm just gonna let it go. I'm not gonna touch the accelerator and it's off. So really good there, a, a little slow, but uh, it was hard to see. So the car was really taking its time. So we do have a cop behind us now, I'll say. So I'm really not gonna let the car <laughs> do anything goofy. Although getting pulled over and having to explain what the heck's going on in this thing would be pretty funny. So really tight space up here again. Oh boy, Whew. wow, car's doing really good though. Even though it is, I mean, it's, even if somebody else was driving, it'd be a little stressful if I'm not the one in control. Um, so green light here. We're gonna wait for this person to finish crossing the street and then we can continue through the green. And wow, really tough, but look at that. This is great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> such a good job on these, these tight. So I don't normally have uh, such tight things that I'm trying to deal with. Um, and that's our destination. So wow, very, very impressive. Um, let me get another destination in and we will continue. Okay, so let's head over to the Ann Arbor Farmer's Market. I, again, have no idea anything about that. So I just turned the system on. I'm gonna let it continue on its own, get out of that kind of pseudo parking space. It'll stop at this stop sign. It's being a tiny bit goofy right now and the cop is gone so I can you know keep pushing it harder now um, and now it will continue oh stopping for crosswalk that was not good so we can't stop for a crosswalk in the middle of an intersection um, when there's nobody in the crosswalk uh, but I guess better to be cautious there so quickly taking that turn but really great I mean that was awesome I loved it and then immediately moving into the left lane because we have a left turn coming up. I think it's going to have to move over one more time. Yep, so we have another move over here to get ready for our left turn coming up. And it looks like, I, I keep reducing the speed, it's just, you know, with all this snow and stuff, it's a little much for me. So it looks like the left turn lane's a bit blocked there. So the car's just going to stay here, which, you know, with the turn signal on, I think it's fine. People probably know what you're doing. Um, and then, whew, we got this aggressive bolt. Wow, that's actually a government vehicle. That's pretty cool. Uh, but no problem for the car to handle that. <laughs> and the Prius goes through the red. We will wait. So right turn coming up here. We're coming in a little hot in my opinion, but wow, yeah, pretty aggressive. Uh, but I like it. I actually like that. So that was really good. Okay, and we made it. 
to the Ann Arbor Farmer's Market. The pin is here on the street, so this is where it's gonna stop us. Let me put in one last destination. Okay, so I put the final destination. It wants to take the highway, so I may not let it do that because that's not as fun. So we got here first, the car should go. Don't wait for your turn. Okay, I actually tapped the accelerator there uh, because it was waiting even though we got to the stop sign first. And then a little bit of running into that snow pile, which is no big deal. This is a one-way road, so we have to turn left here. Very cautiously moving out. There is a car coming from the right. And yeah, the Tesla was moving forward and that person, you know, it got close enough. It, I could tell, I mean, I didn't think it was gonna move forward, but that person honked because they were uh, thinking I was gonna drive in front of them. I didn't think so, that's why I hadn't hit the brake yet, but I stopped so that I would not freak them out. All right, so heading onto the highway, I think that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, pretty good, I, I tried to make shorter one, not everybody has time to watch 20 minute self-driving videos, but wow, some of those tight spots uh, made me pretty nervous to be totally honest, but the car handled them, I would say perfectly. It didn't seem to get too close, it got just as close as it needed to each side. Uh, going through those tight spaces and obviously got us through there uh, without me having to disengage and I usually disengage pretty early. Uh, I don't I don't risk too much with this. Uh, there's a Model Y on the other side. So really good, really impressive. Uh, again, when the road is really snow covered, like this is fine, um, but when there's a fresh snow or something, the car is just really not there yet. But it's something the autopilot team has not added um, and they are definitely working on it. So hopefully by next winter, they will have enough data from this year to at least make it better than it is now. See like this, this is, yeah, so I had to take over there because we're moving a little too far to the right. And that's something I noticed with this build, despite snow, like even without snow, it just moves a little too far to the right. Um, and it's just, as we get updates, these things change sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. Um, so let's merge on here and that will be it. So, okay, that was accidental takeover from me. I just had my hands on the wheel. So can you actually merge on here? So there we go. So anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, I'm sure I already put up all, all the stats and stuff. So I don't know, pretty impressive drive in my opinion, but here's the, the miles right there, 6.9 minus two, so 4.9. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. And oh boy, oh boy, all right. <laughs> the, the car hit its brakes and they should have, uh, They I don't know, if they would have sped up, it would have been good. The car should have probably just went, but it was merging for them. And uh, I think I'm gonna, take over driving now. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, you will see me in the next video. So Autopilot and I are happily driving along 